What's going on, guys? Dirt Sheet clocking in from the Spoiler Alert Network. Uh, now, I know that we have been gone for a while. We took a little leave of absence there. It just kind, kind of got crazy. Uh, one of us had a kid. Uh, one of us had a kid's birthday. And then big life decision so it just got busy so i don't i don't have an excuse i just kind of stopped doing things for a while but we're back we're back hitting it hard and we're going to be pumping out a lot of videos in the near future hopefully you guys enjoy them uh so what i'm here to talk about today is kind of a big moment for me now something i've been wanting to get into for a while is D and D. i'd always been interested my brother has his own campaign that he's been doing for a long time now and i went home over the holidays and he was like hey why don't you create a one-off character and get involved in our D&D &D session? Because I sat in on one, but I've never played in one. So we created a character, and this is going to be talking about my D&D cherry popping. And my god, it was incredible. I had so much fun. I'm going to get involved regularly now, hopefully in the future, uh, whenever I start going home for more vis visits, and I can get involved in his campaigns regularly. This game is incredibly fun. It's so imaginative. It is just, there's literally no limits to this game and what can happen besides you and the DM's uh, per imagination and it was so much fun I really can't underestimate how much fun this was so my character that I started obviously I wanted to do something super simple for my very first character so I was thinking I was like hmm what do I want to do and I kind of looked back on uh, archetypes that I'd played with in RPG games like uh, a, like the Elder Scrolls games or like Fallout or like Mass Effect and for my first playthrough on any of those games the archetype that I always lean towards is a big strong brute just something super simple something smashy something I could plow through the game in so I was like hey let me create a warrior because it actually balanced really well because they're all spell slingers so uh you know, if I was a spell slinger, not only was I putting myself in a complex mechanic to start the game for my very first campaign, it would also kind of be unbalanced in the party because we would be we would be strong but fragile. Fragile is French for breakable. For those of you who do not know, but uh, so I was like, okay, I'll be I'll be a big dumb brute, and that'll balance out because I'll be doing a massive amount of damage. Hopefully, if my rolls, you know help me out and that is something about this game that I learned that it is it is a lot of luck really anything you do relies on a d20 or a just a die in general like you have to roll for everything and it's just a lot of dumb luck so you can be on one night and have a bunch of high rolls and be doing just everything and then the next night you come back for another session and you do nothing because you have a bunch of low rolls and life just sucks so uh, what I created was I got my character sheet right here I'm gonna be talking about it with you guys uh, I'm going to get this framed and put up on the wall because this was a very large moment for me so I'll just go through and I'll let you guys know a little bit about my character and what happened. Uh, so I played as an orc barbarian. Uh, obviously, orcs, big, strong, big, dumb, strong brutes. Uh, my background was I was a mercenary veteran. I was chaotic neutral. I just, and you guys will figure out why. So my name was Dur, D-U-R, because he was an idiot, an absolute idiot. And my base stats were... I, my, I had 19 strength, so I had plus 4 initiative to any strength roll. He was incredibly strong. I was always rolling with uh, advantage on strength checks. Uh, dexterity, wisdom, and charisma were all moderate. They were sitting at 12s. Uh, my constitution was 14, and then my intelligence was 3. So, those of you who are not familiar with the stats and uh, buffs of Dungeon and Dragons, like kind of like myself at the moment, uh, I rolled three, knowing that wasn't good, and then my brother told me that two was feral. I was barely alive. My intelligence was... I barely had any, in general. So, I was rolling with a minus four disadvantage on any intelligence checks. So, I actually couldn't talk. I knew words, I just couldn't say them, which this is hilarious because with my wisdom being as moderate as it was, I actually had a plus four to my persuasion checks. So I was charismatic, but I was an idiot. So I, in my, like, all I imagined was in my character's mind, he could process things and he knew what was going on around him, but he couldn't express himself. Uh, so... It was just very interesting. Uh, I, he was the definition of big, dumb, strong brute. 
he was so stupid it was ridiculous. Uh, couldn't talk, just literally cleaving a great sword around at whatever the party pointed me at. So we started playing. We had a lot of fun, a whole lot of fun. It was incredible. I think the the uh, biggest moment. I had two big moments in the campaign for me. One of them was whenever I had to actually roll an intelligence check to uh, investigate. I wanted to investigate my brother's character. Which, you know, because I was just going along with the role of a uh, big dumb idiot. So I was like, hmm, okay, because mind you, my character was six foot nine and weighed well over 300 pounds. He was a big dude. So uh, I had to, I was thinking, I was like, okay, well, I can investigate him because I just have to pass a strength check. And obviously I can pass that compared to his little wizard, you know. So... I was like, let me roll a strength check. And he's like, ah, wait, no. You have to pass an intelligence check because of something that his character had. Because his character was super smart. It was a scholar of some sort. So I was like, okay, fine. And I lucked out incredibly. I rolled a d20 and I passed the intelligence check. So I picked him up. I didn't learn anything from investigating him. But I passed the check and it was just kind of like, ha, I'm smarter than your guy in this exact moment right now. How does that feel? And then another big moment for me was whenever we actually had our first combat phase. And uh, when I was just, I was on a roll. Like, <laughs> literally, on a roll, because I was rolling die, get it, send help. But, uh, so, we were rolling, and I was rolling for damage, and I rolled back-to-back -back D20s. Back-to-back -back critical hits, and I output over 40 damage. Pretty much one-shotted the thing that I was playing against. Granted, it was start a campaign, I just got involved, we were, you know... And maybe like the third, the second or third act of his campaign, so the enemies were low level. But nonetheless, knowing that I could swing for over 40 damage with this massive great sword and pretty much one shot a uh, minor enemy was a big, like, it was a big accomplishment for me. I was like, hey, I just got involved and I cleaved the shit out of this wolf in one strike. So. Anyways, guys, that was my first D&D &D, uh, experience. I had a whole lot of fun. I want to thank my brother and his playgroup for letting me get involved. Uh, it was incredibly fun. I will be doing it so much more. It's really not as hard as it looks. There is a lot that goes into it. There's a lot of math and a lot of rolling and a lot of different stat buffs and everything. But creating a character is so incredibly fun because it is, it's just all up to you it's all up to your imagination and then whatever you know if you're playing with a good group a fun group of people it just makes it that much more fun because we would we would f off for half the campaign and just do random things and then we got serious and it got interesting the story was incredible uh the guy who came up with the story the dm he did an incredible job it kept me in enticed I, I had so much fun so seriously guys give DD a go it's a cheap game to get into all you have to do is get a bag of dice get some pen and paper, look up some things, and you're good to go. Just create a character and go. Uh, so, anyways, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I am Dirt Sheet. This is the Spoiler Alert Network. Give that little bell a ding. Come back in the future for more videos and ignore the Rudolph onesie. I'm not getting festive, I promise, but the heat doesn't work in my house, so it's essentially as cold in my room as it is outside. So, And always remember to stay dedicated.